Ulink NT program slave CPU on E38. This is E38 board again. And in the previous videos, we talk about using Ulink NT to program the master CPU here. And in this board, there is a, another chip is a slave ch CPU, which is the Motorola 16 bit processor. The chip is MC9S 12C32. And it has 32 kilobytes of flash. The protocol talk to the CPU is also called uh, BDM, but it's much simpler uh, method and it's much slower. It's only use one wire to communicate to the, the uh, PC and the other is, is the reset pin and one ground pin. So to connect to the Ulink NT, you need to connect ground pin to the ground pin for the Ulink NT here. And the uh, BKGD pin, which is the main communication pin to the IO0, which is pin 10 of the Ulink NT, and pin 8 of the Ulink NT is IO1 used for reset pin. So the setup here is connect to the wire to the power and you should not connect to the uh, the other BDM. You know, just leave this uh, alone and we are going to start uh, programming it. So this is the software uh, 1.14 I just re recently released and the target is select here as uh, 9S12C32. The configuration of this thing has the two segment, uh, two 16 byte, a uh, 16 kilobyte of flash. One is at address 4000 and the other one is at C000. Um, the connection, if you look at the connection, is here. Only is ground pin and the reset pin and the BKGD pin are connected. So I also use this 12 volt power supply as well as the Ulink uh, NT, I plug in, plug in the, the hub with the power. So I'll power on and select it. You can see on the lower right side, it says uh, BDM off. Now we can hit detect. Uh, by the way, the clock speed cannot be selected. It's auto detect uh, because single wire communication, the clock has to be in certain uh, sequence, you cannot go here and select the speed. So the speed is there. And this clock, uh, this board has the four megahertz uh, crystal and the bus speed is two megahertz. So that's the speed we can use. And after detect, you can see there is uh, detect two blocks and to read the flash, you need to read individual flash. The old flash does not work. Okay, so we can read flash one, and read flash two. So we can back up the flash one. So let's say I want to save as back up flash one. And then back up flash two. Let's just compare it one more time and make sure they do read good. Okay, so now let's do some uh, programming. And this chip is different than the other ones. So there is some special mode you need to be aware. So let's say I want to erase everything. And the way to do this is erase here. And erase here. Let's see if they are erased. So let's compare. Yes, it's erased. And compare. They are erased. So if I detect now, if you look at this thing, if I detect now, it will say the flash is secured. The reason for that is there is a special area that needs to be programmed and we didn't program it. It says uh, fail, uh, secure. But in this mode, you are still okay to program. Let's say I want to program the flash one, flash two. So flash one 
and the flash two. Oh, sorry. Let's go to flash one to flash one, back to flash one, flash two to back flash two, and let's program. The speed is quite slow and I didn't spend time to optimize it. It's not a lot of uh, value to add optimization to it. Because the flash itself is only 32 kilobytes, you know, no matter what, it becomes like two seconds versus 20 seconds. But if there is a need, I can certainly add the optimization on it. So this mode, if I program properly and then I click uh, detect I no longer see the secure because this there is a special byte a bit is being erased. So now let's do some funky things and I erase the flash uh, flash one. Uh, let's do some. Let's erase the flash two. Okay, say so erase flash two. And it's secure. Look. We are not able to detect the flash anymore and the BDM is not showing on. Now this mode might be able to have to erase the entire flash in your work. So the way to do this now is hit erase again. And let's see it not. Okay, so if that is the case, then we have no way to recover it by the uh, we have to, the reason for that is there are certain code that's re reset itself. So we need to hit the reset as well as the, uh, as well as the, the uh, erase the flash really fast. So I create a script that can do this. Uh, let's see what the name of the flash, go to configure folder and I have a script which is called S32. M S R yeah, so S thirty two M E S thirty two M E S R erase. Oh, S thirty two M S E R S thirty two M S E R, and let's take one more time. You see. With the script, we can fully recover it. And now let's open this flash, uh, open this thing, and write the flash one. So if the chip is locked in any way, we cannot read back the data, but we were able to, you know, reprogram it. So let's program the flash two. flash two and flash one and detect it's fully okay okay it's fully working now 